Hello everybody and welcome to a quick look at cattle and crops. Today we're going to be talking about uh, some of the trailers that they've been putting out, some of the features that I think are pretty interesting. And we'll take a look at some of the tools and uh, tractors and different implements that they're putting into the game. Uh, a couple days ago I received my notice for uh, accessing the forums. Uh, there we were allowed for uh, for the backers, we were allowed to put up our name that we're going to be displayed in the credits and whatnot. And uh, they gave us our dashboard access. There's nothing really available on there right now other than the forum access. So um, the first topic that came up on the forum access was a meet and greet. Basically, it was just you know telling a little bit about yourself, who you were, um, how you heard about cattle and crops any kind of uh, background you had in farming, which I have none. The only background in farming I have is from Farming Simulator 2015 all the way up to 17. Uh, I haven't really played any other farming games other than that. Uh, I have been heavily involved with uh, Farming 15. Over 1800 hours spent streaming on Twitch with various other streamers, followers. Uh, I never made any videos for it. But uh, I'm really excited because coming up in March is going to be the single player access. It's going to be alpha. If you are part of the Kickstarter, you will be able to have access to that. It's a matter of donating a little bit of money and you'll have access to that. Later on in the year, they're going to have their multiplayer access, which is going to, of course, you're going to be able to play off other people. Um, and then following that later in the year we'll take a look at the tree and we'll see where they've uh, what they've accomplished here I know that uh, they're asking for a little bit and they ended up getting a whole ton of support on this uh, some of the things I'm really excited about looking for in this game is the defamation of terrain uh, the fact that you can sink into the mud which I know is a mod that you can get in farming uh, 15 and I believe it's out for 17 as well uh, one interesting topic uh, I did want to talk about for cattle and crops was that some of the people on the forums were mentioning that uh, they think it would be a really cool idea that when they implement uh, the GPS mod, if it's going to be standard to the game or if it's going to be a standalone mod that's going to come later. But some of them were saying that they think it would be pretty cool that if you could go to the store and actually buy it, to have it installed on your tractors, combines, and whatnot, not just like, you know, you download the mod and it just automatically appears in your game. It'd be something purchasable that you have to go to the store for. Uh, I think that'd be a really cool idea. And uh, as far as when, multi when uh, single player comes out, I honestly think that uh, I will be doing videos on it because uh, I've been following this game since before the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter popped up and I jumped on it immediately. Um, of course, uh, I'm not, like I said, a farmer myself, but these simulation games, I find them extremely interesting. And uh, I really look forward to this one coming out. There it is, support us on kickstarter.com. You still have time to buy into the single player alpha when it is coming out. So we'll take a quick look at some of the equipment and that that they have going on here in the game so here we are in the vehicles branch of their website and right now we're looking at uh, <clears throat> excuse me right now we're looking at the class uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna say this right uh, feel free to crucify me and correct me on how uh, if I'm pronouncing these names wrong because I get it a lot on twitch uh, we got the class Arion 530, the 650, and looks like they're in development right now for the 950 as well. Uh, question marks, which is good, means they're still coming out with content for the class. Uh, Dotes, got the Dotes uh, 7250 TTV, I, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, it looks really cool. <laughs> uh, two more models coming out for the Dotes. And uh, Mercedes, um, I can't remember. I think there was some uh, uh, mods that were for Mercedes for FS15. I'm not sure they're in 17 yet, correct me if I'm wrong. It's not really something I look for, 
I, I normally stick with the brands that come with the game. I'm a big New Holland fan myself, so I, I tend to revolve around more New Holland. And since the Class 5000 uh, in FS15, so uh, as well as Harvesters here, you got your Chopper, which is your Class Jaguar 960. There's also something else coming out and your Orbis 900 header for chopping. Uh, Class Toscano or Tucano 570, uh, obviously in development. And then I'm not sure for harvesters if it's going to be a class harvester. Uh, none of us are going to know until it actually comes out. And a Dotes Bar harvester. Interesting. A lot of names in here are familiar from FS15 to 17, probably 13. I, I never played 13. Um, Bressel and Lad, uh, not too sure about that, but um, here's just some of the basic implements that they're coming out with right now. Horsch, we all know uh, from FS15 and 17. Uh, Joskin, uh, known for tippers and whatnot. Uh, ha, not too sure again about them. And of course, everyone knows the, let me try to say this right, the knock. Uh, Knockingling, <laughs> uh, Cultivators, and I'm uh, not really sure what this is supposed to be. The Staple VT18000, uh, looks like some kind of chopper implement, probably a single row, double row, I'm not sure. Um, Strouthman Plow, and the Staple Slurry Spreader, which, which yeah, I'm looking forward to Slurry. Uh, Strouthman Tipper, uh, Strouthman Tipper as well, and looks like a feed mixer right here. What else we got? Uh, nothing else. Uh, on the forums, there's some talk about, of course, people wanting uh, different implements for... They're, they're trying to get information, but the developers are basically saying, like, you gotta wait. Uh... So here we are. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna touch on some videos here that I thought were really cool. Uh, look at this one real quick. And let's we'll skip past all this stuff. I'm actually thinking that this part is gonna be really cool when it comes to multiplayer because I know a lot of times uh, in farming sim, a lot of us on our stream we tend to overload our stuff. We'll go into the mod, we'll remod the capacities, and we'll uh, get a little heavier than we should be, and we'll often, in times, call for help from our neighboring player and say, hey, can you give me a push? Uh, I'm a little heavy here. I think this is gonna be really interesting because uh, without modding any of the uh, actual capacities in that, I think you could probably run into some trouble if you don't plan your harvesting properly, I could say. Um, how this is going to work in single player, I'm not too sure. You'll see a little later on what's going to happen. And, uh, well, essentially we all know that, you know, if you've seen this, yeah, they get stuck. The attention to detail of dirt flying off the wheels is another thing that a lot of us on our stream thought was really cool when we took a look at this video. Uh, right up here, he's going to... He's gonna run into some troubles here. You can see how he's sinking into the mud. It kind of gives me that little feel, and a lot of people said it too, of um, spin tires. So now he's getting pulled out. Now, whether this uh, tow mod is gonna actually be something you activate on the tractor, or if it's gonna be ha uh, something that you have to go pick up off a pallet, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, a little later, in a couple of minutes, I'll take a look at um, a screenshot of, uh, what do you call it? Um, kind of looks like uh, a mission mode profiler. I'm not too sure. And uh, we'll take a look at that right now real quick. So as I was saying, uh, we're gonna take a quick look at a little uh, screenshot that's here. Uh, and some things I noticed on the screenshot are actually quite interesting. <clears throat> It looks like um, we have a mission mode that's going to be available 
Uh, we're going to be following quests through a timeline, not just, hey, go do this uh, crop, harvest it at your own time. It looks like they, we're going to be actually given timelines. Uh, so <clears throat> over here, we look at the transportation part of it and it says no mill, no meal. Deliver common wheat to the mill. Uh, 7.30 hours for nine days. So within week one between July 1st and 7th, it looks like that's when the delivery has to be made uh, for the first, I guess you gotta fill that. Um, we're look, I'm looking at this bar here and I'm thinking that's probably a quantity that they want. Uh, week two is gonna be between July 8th and 14th and I'm sure that's gonna be a certain quantity that you have to deliver as well. Um, the one thing that really uh, stood out to me when I was looking at this, and it's a little different, uh, one fish in a pond, tow a stranded car to the auto shop. So I'm kind of thinking about this uh, while I was watching the video with the tow bar and then looking at the map, which the map looks awfully familiar. Um, if you guys ever played MIG map on FS15, it's now on FS17 as well. Uh, if you've ever played Mid -ma uh, MIG map, uh, this map seems to kind of look a lot like it, which is really cool because that was a really fun map to play. Uh, it seems like uh, this mission mod, I'm not sure, it, uh, not really a mission mod, but what I want to know and I'm really looking forward to seeing is, are you going to be driving around doing things and there's going to be a car that's going to be, you know, off to the side, stuck in a ditch and you have to pull them out? or is this going to have to be like an active thing where you double click on it, click on it, whatever, and activate the quest and then go do it and then come back? Or is this something that's going to pop up that's, you know, going to cue us that we need to do within a certain time limit? So we'll go take a look at another quick screenshot here. We're looking at the employee screenshot right now, and it seems like Comparing this to what we've had available in FS 15 and 17, you would hire a worker and that unknown worker would basically just go out and do the job that you tell them to the best of their abilities. A lot of the times we had to take over or straighten them out, get them out of a ditch or possibly out of a lake. I can't say that's happened too many times, but it's happened enough that I have to mention it. So it looks like here that we're gonna be able to have full track of our employees. Uh, over on the side here, I did notice, uh, it says job market. So, one speculation I had was, now you're developing a uh, relationship with your workers, so you're having them do jobs, and it seems like, uh, looking at their happiness level, if you look at Carla Tortelli, whatever her name is, <laughs> she's a milk technologist, um, and she's exuberant, so she's obviously happy with her job. And we'll go look at Dan Fielding, and Dan Fielding is quite unhappy with being a driver. So what I want to know is if you would be able, to, if you're going to be able to basically look at your employees and find out what they're good at, and basically put them towards that jobs to raise their happiness levels. So I wonder if it's going to be some experimenting that we're going to have to do, and find out uh, what your employees are going to like or when we go to the job market and hire employees, are they gonna automatically be like, well, my interests are uh, combining or driving a tipper train, whatever, chopping. Are they gonna have specializations that we have to follow or are we gonna learn over time what they're good at and what keeps them happy? Um, I'm guessing the happiness level, and I I'm probably wrong about this because uh, none of us really know how this is gonna work. Um, <clears throat> I'm wondering if their happiness level is going to affect the way they do their job. So if someone who, like Carla, is exuberant, she's going to do a really good job. Um, now, if you take Dan and you say, well, you're going to be a milk technologist, if we can even do that, um, will his happiness change because now he's doing something that he enjoys? Um, is he going to do a really bad job because he's unhappy? Um, I don't know, <laughs> but what are your things that you're looking forward to in this game? Uh, what are some of the, uh, you know, equipment brands that you want to see in here? 
anyways, just go to cattleandcrops.com, check it out, you know, leave me a like, subscribe, uh, and uh, leave in the comments below what you'd like to see. Um, anything that I possibly missed, probably a lot. And of course, <laughs> as I mentioned, if I missed anything, let me know. And it came to mind that I told you guys I was going to talk about the uh, development tree, and I completely forgot about this. So we'll take a look at this quickly. Um, Milestone 1 was July 2013. Uh, that was their basic tech prototype uh, for coming up with the concept of the game and whatnot. Uh, let's see here what pertains to us. Uh, launching of the Facebook page, February 2015. That's about where um, where I came in, and I was kind of like, "What's this?" And then I heard it from other people, and people were like, "Hey, have you seen this game?" And I checked it out. Um, so, anyways, uh, October was their first in-game trailer, which is the one that we were seeing there. Um, Let's see, mostly uh, 3D artists programming or replace physics engine. Okay, Kickstarter was in September 2016. So right now we're sitting in um, October 2016 between March 2017. And what they're doing is polishing, integrating UI concepts, finishing machines, adding gameplay features, testing, bug fixing, uh, bugs fixing. <laughs> okay. So our next uh, goal after that is going to be March 2017, which is the early access single player for Kickstarter backers. Let's take a look a little more down here. And we can see uh, summer 2017, probably through the entire summer, is going to be uh, development of version 1 features, multiplayer, more fruits and animal types, more machines, regular updates, integrating community feedback integrating community feedback so for anyone who is part of the single player kickstarter it's going to be extremely important for all the feedback that you can possibly get if you are a streamer you know do your thing talk to your audience get their ideas submit them i don't think any idea is stupid unless it's really stupid but um i plan on pulling my audience and uh you know, as we're playing the single player, if we're even allowed to stream the early access, I'm not sure. Uh, if we are not able to, I will tell them about what I think, and maybe they can input some ideas and we can submit them. Um, July 2017th is going to be early access multiplayer test phase. So now you're going to be able to play with a partner or a couple people. We're not sure. I'm not sure how many people uh, is going to be just playing with co-op is going to be playing with like up to eight people is going to work like this farming sim and uh november 2017 is going to be cattle and crops version one gold release there's certain packs with the kickstarters that you are going to receive so many years of dlc within those years i think mine is two years of uh free dlc with the backing um and then the future of course free and paid content dlc if you guys want to know the system requirements right now, they're looking at Windows 7, 8, 10, or Linux. Uh, I'm thinking these are going to be minimum because it says Intel dual core 2 gigahertz of hyper threading or similar quad core AMD CPU, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, you're looking for a GFX uh, 560 and uh, ATI Radeon 6700. 1 gig of VRAM or above, and then obviously an internet connection for updates, patches, and multiplayers. But I'm thinking right now that these are um, minimum requirements. So, anyways, you guys take care of yourselves. You guys have a great day. Thanks for coming to watch my video. Drop a like if you liked it, uh, and subscribe. That'd be cool too. Uh, anyways, this is Fox signing out. You guys have a good one, and peace out.